Hey, James, welcome back to another edition of the Nerd Room Reviews. Well, basically in my friend's Nerd Room, but still, a review nonetheless. We are continuing with the Captain Marvel wave, the uh, Cree Sentry wave, as it were, with uh, that no-down, dirty, dirty Skrull Talos, because Skrulls can't be trusted. They're sneaky, they're deceptive, and they're red things. Down with Skrulls! That's right. <laughs> so, of course, you got to have a villain in the movie, so the villain, at least the trailer will tell you anyways, is Talos, but... You never know with these Marvel movies. Who knows? Anyways, uh, but they have the same guy who plays a villain every single movie, so why not? It's tad casting. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to review the figure, take the tour around the box, talk about the figure, and see how it goes. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, we have our Talos scroll from the Legend series of Captain Marvel. As you see, the cover shows him off nicely with the build a figure part in the back. Looks very pretty, nice open area. You see him on the side there, really dark looking, so it kind of does look evil. On the back, we have Talos' story. Talos, perhaps the most cunning spy of all the Skrull Empire, is a master of shape-shifting and intergalactic espionage. As an integral leader in the bitter Kree Skrull War, the fearsome Talos will do whatever it takes to protect his own. He's up to no good. <laughs> I'm telling you. Here's some other pictures of the waves that are there from the Kree Sentry. There we go again, one more time with the very dark, evil-looking side box. And then we have the Star Force logo on the top. Okay, well, let's get on and get them open. Okay, so we have Talos out of the box. He doesn't come with any accessories because, you know, if you're in a Kree Skrull war, why do you need weapons? Anyways, uh, he's a shape-shifting Skrull. No good, uh, no good son of a gun. Uh, I do like the likeness, of course. Like I said, they've been doing fantastic jobs with the likeness of these uh, film figures. Over the past, if you've seen the studio figures, you know they've been doing gangbuster work. And he comes with a Kree Sentry leg. We're not going to need that till the build. But, yeah, pretty cool uh, design. I like the figure. I do wish uh, the uh, cloak wasn't uh, inhibitive for the articulation. But, anyways, let's uh, get cracking and see. So, uh, let's talk articulation, of course. Uh, his head goes back that far. Oops. Forward that far. Head goes uh, all the way around. The costume is, is <laughs> moving prohibitive. He has a little bit of a head tilt. Uh, arm goes up all the way up. That's kind of cool. Goes all the way around. Um, okay. Yep. Uh, bicep rotation. Double joint at the elbow. Wrist rotation. Uh, no rotation to forearm. Um, yeah, uh, he he can go back that far. Goes forward that far. But the, the, the cloak is very articulation prohibitive. He... Uh, can rotate at the waist. But every time you rotate them, obviously this pop part pops right out. So you can re-pop it in. That's no fun. Uh, Lays go part that far. Over forward and back that far. Uh, rotation at the thigh. Uh, double joint at the knee. No uh, calf rotation, but he has forward and back on the ankle. I don't know if there's going to be much posing. We'll, uh, we'll, do it. we'll do it, but you know he doesn't really have much to work with, so we'll... Uh, Probably throw in a couple of figures just to compare, so let's get cracked. Okay, guys, so that is our review of the uh, Talos figure. Very cool. I wish it came with some more accessories, maybe an alternate head for, like, you know, ship sh shape shipping. Shape shifting. That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> or, like, maybe a gun or whatever, or weapon. But it is what it is. So very cool. He's still the villain of the movie, more or less. But, you know, very cool. Awesome addition to the collection. So... How can you not want to pick him up? So um, that's it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I always appreciate your support. You're watching these videos, sharing the videos, whatever. Um, if you do like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button, please. If you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that, too. Anyways, that's uh, the Nerd Review for now. And uh, we'll see you next time in the Nerd Room. Uh, don't forget to stop to keep on collecting and uh, keep on hunting. And beware of squirrels. <laughs>